hi welcome to welcome to my video let's begin with creating this form you if you're watching this i know you're watching this because you want to create figure out how to scale your recipes after you've created the recipes and how can you create these recipes in an easier way in excel so if that's what you're looking for keep watching we're going to begin with the first column which is the ingredients. So that's gonna be under column G, right? So we're gonna go ahead and type in our ingredients. And we're gonna start off with emulsifying wax. Emulsifying wax, steric acid, and then we're just gonna make the other two null. All right, so the next thing we want to add is our percentages column because that's where we're going to list the percentages for each recipe and we're going to go ahead and also add the weight so the weight that we're looking for in this one is 50 we're going to go ahead and add the name of each unit or measurement so ounce grams and pounds and you're probably like why am i using all this i'm using all of this this is just i know some people just use one i use all three because with the pounds it can help to know, let you know how much you know products you might need to purchase because sometimes when you purchase products they don't come in ounce or grams they come in pounds so it's easier to know how much product you need to use right the next thing you want to add is your phase which is this column here will be your oil phase as we continue we'll start to add in the other phases so now you're probably wondering what percentage are we going to add where am i getting these percentages from it's from if you are trying to create a recipe or trying to duplicate another recipe or you just found an ingredient and you're building your own recipe right and the recipe says between six to ten emulsifying wax so you go ahead you said you want six percent then it asks for you know, a certain percentage of steric acid, you said, okay, here's 10%. The next one, null, you can say that one is 5%. And the next one is 6%. Now, as you can see, I left one blank so you can see how your table will look in its natural form before I've even formatted it. Right here, if you didn't format your, your Excel sheet, then this is how your cell is going to look just like six, just a regular number. We're going to go to home because we want to change that and we're going to of course change the rest of them right to look like this right here so now that it's in its natural state which is just general we're going to go ahead and click the percentage format change it to percentage you may have entered six and it turned into 600 as you can see here so what you want to do is go ahead and just backspace this and go back up and click six again it should change there you go i'm not sure why it does that but it does and now you have your six percent so you're going to go ahead and calculate the weight in different units different measurements so it's usually the weight the total weight in the dominant measurement that you're using which is 50 ounce i3 or i4 times 28.35 and that will give you the answer that you're looking for for the pounds it is equal the same i3 divided by 16 and that will give you how much pounds this entire recipe will come out to and just to show you let me show you the formula show formulas and there you go there you have it you're able to see the exact formulas of this recipe all right so let's move on to the next topic now notice that it went to decimal points that's only because the view that i'm showing you is the show formulas view so i can show you exactly how the formula is created for this excel sheet the first thing we're going to do is change the percentage to how much pounds grams pounds by ingredients so the first one you have here is emulsifying wax at 6%, 0.06. In order to calculate that, we have to go equal I4 times our first percentage here. Now, since this is going to be like the staple row box in order to create a formula for the rest of the sheet, and then we're going to use that to so we don't have to continuously, you know, type this in. I'm going to use this to create the rest of the formula. We have to make the I4 obsolete. I think that's the word. So in order to do that, you're going to do dollar sign after I and uh, dollar sign before it. That way, 
once you copy this formula, it will continue to make sure that's obsolete instead of going I4, I5, I6, I7, because what you want is I4. That's where the total weight of the formula is, and that's what you need to calculate the percentage of to get how much ounce you need in this formula. Now that we've calculated that, what I mentioned before about using this box, well, cell that's what they call it excel so using this cell to populate the rest of the cells we're going to go where you see this tiny this green box we did a tiny one right here once your mouse turns to the plus sign click on this click on the right corner bottom right corner and drag it down and now the formula has populated in each cell and notice how every cell has i4 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 that's what you want if you do this and it's not i4 it's i4 five six seven then we have a problem it should be i4 going straight down right now that we've calculated that let's go ahead and calculate the grams in order to calculate the grams it's basically this same formula here that we're going to put here right so we're going to go ahead and with not i4 though this time each i has to change right so we're going to go ahead equals multiply by 28.35 as i mentioned earlier 28.3 kinds it, i didn't pull it out of my head it comes from the internet it comes from you know how much ounces in the grams or however they calculate it so we're going to go ahead and do the same thing pull the bottom right corner down and populate and we're going to now go on to the pound equal from ounce to pounds, I7 divided by 16. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing and pull down and populate. Notice that in each column here, this column, it's I7, 8, 6, 9, and 10. I7, 8, 6, 9, and 10. That's what you want because you're not making it absolute. You're not trying to get it off 50%. You just want off, you know, each ingredient here so you know how much of that ingredient you're adding to your formulation. So now that we have all the formulas out of the way and this is all calculated, let's go ahead and turn this back into regular regular display. So now that we're not showing the formulas, it's all the way over there now. So now that we're not showing the formulas, you see the answers here, right? Later down, I'm going to later down I'm going to turn these into we're going to change the decimal points just so it's like ex Exact. I probably just change it now and change it again later. Let's go ahead and do that. See? Let's change it, all of them, to about two decimal. Yeah, one decimal place works. This is just to make sure it's exactly six, it's exactly ten, it's exactly five, because sometimes when there's no decimal place, it rounds up and round down, and you're trying to get this formula exact let's move on to the next step all right guys so now that we went ahead and filled in the formulation for each column filled in the formulation for ounce grams pounds and we know how to get to the totals that we're looking for i'm going to go ahead and populate the other ingredients and phases so we can continue to populate the other formulas to have a complete form so now that everything is populated let's go ahead and populate the formulas first so usually I was, you know, we're gonna we're gonna kind of decorate it, but I want us to populate the formulas first before we go ahead and do the merge because once these con once these rows here are merged, it's hard for us to pull down certain formulas. So let's get into it. The first thing we want to do is to pull down this is um percentage. So let's make this whole column percentage so we don't run into any problems, right? So now they're percentage and we want them to be one decimal place right and i think i mentioned earlier the decimal place is to make sure that our numbers or percentage isn't a round up but an actual six or an actual 10.5 instead of like 10.5 being 11 understand so how much okay so our share butter will be 10 per 10 percent cocoa butter 10 mango butter <laughs> also 10 and let's go down to sweet almond which is 15 percent 10 and i'll continue to fill in all of this
we want to calculate these in ounces. We want to, you know, populate the rest of it. So let's get into it. So the first thing, the first thing we want to do is I need you to click control and then left click. I'm not sure what a Windows person would do. A uh, Mac person would do, I have Windows, so I'm going for Windows. So we're going to control, we're left clicking the rest of the numbers. We could just pull it down, right? And then from there, I want us to right click, copy, and we're going to go to the row, I, what's this, I11, I11, and then we're going to, sorry, we're going to go down to I12 right click paste formula well that's a formatting sorry yeah fx and that's going to paste the formula so it's going to bring down the same formula that is above so you see how it's i4 times h12 it's going to do the same formula let's check the next let's check to make sure these all have the same formula. actually at the end we're going to check so we're going to go ahead and do the same for this or we can control, pull down, copy, and just paste the three formulas. And boom, we have the formulas. So the next row is two. So we can highlight the two by holding on left click, pull. If you know how to do Excel, you can do it your way. I'm just, you know, kind of showing different ways to do it. We can go ahead, click on, left click on this column, pull your mouse to the right to get to the other columns, right click copy then go down to sweet almond paste fx and we're going to do the same thing for rose water since we already copied and it's just the same two columns we're going to right click paste fx and it will do two columns and for our three columns we can go up here copy three or we could have just done the same come back down paste three columns right so now everything is populated so now that everything is populated we're going to go ahead and start merging these cells right so in order to merge them we highlight hold hold click the buttons and drag it to the extension of the table click merge in center and we can do the same thing to this merge in center okay that's fine we're going to discard the value Merge and center, merge and center. All right, so now that we have taken care of that, now we have part of the column. The next thing we're gonna go ahead and do is calculate the totals. Now, in order to calculate the total of each column, we're gonna equal sum, open bracket. We're going to select the first, the first cell, and then at the bottom right corner of the cell, we're going to drag it down so we can incorporate this entire column, right? And we want to end at H24. Close bracket. Now you have the sum. Now you see that it's 101%. We want it to be 100%. So let's make this 14%. We have 100 percent right so in order to calculate these across we can do the same thing or we can go to the total of the percentage bottom right corner wait for the black x and drag now once you've dragged it you'll notice that it looks kind of crazy like it's percentage why is it percentage right that's because the format of the box that you're you're dragging is percentage but the formula is the same so what we're going to do is to left click the box i25 still drag it across go to your column here where it has the formats where it says number hopefully yours is like that click down and click number and voila it is now the correct value so now we have the total of each column and to confirm the total you see how it's 50 14 17 point 50 let's scroll up it matches what's on top here because that's what we were looking for all right Another thing I wanted to add is that if you watch this video and you feel like you're overwhelmed, you do not want to make this yourself. You just want to get it done. You can click the link below in my description box and you can go ahead and grab this same form for your own purposes, for your own uses without having to create the whole form. But it's a good idea to know how to do it just in case something goes wrong, right? So now let's move on to kind of putting a little bit of 
pizzazz you know, let's jazz up this form a bit i know if you want to end it here because you like it like this then fine but i like to be able to look at my table so i like to add a little color you know little format on it to make it appeasing to the eye so if this is where you want to end off then see you next time if not keep watching the first thing that i'm going to do is change the lines in the table like i like to see you know the different sections so i'm going to go ahead and fill that in let's start with this one here all right now we're going to go ahead and this is like how to put borders around your cells so for the outline i want it to be a thicker border so we're going to highlight that and we're going to click the arrow down thick outside border we're going to go ahead and do the same for the top portion of this table thick outside border so now i'm just highlighting this row these cells in this row from here and clicking control so i can keep all of them control control so i can have all of them highlighted and i want to change the color of this cell inside the cell let's change it to probably like yeah like a light gray that's good and then for the rest of it i'd like to change the headings so we're going to go ahead and change that and let's make this maybe like a light blue similar to what i had previously and we're going to go ahead and change this the color of each section let's make this an even darker blue right there we go and then let's make the total a more predominant color it's a bit dark and go ahead and change that text to white and bold okay and now you have like a slightly decorated table and this works for me completely fine you can change it up however you want i like to change this part where is it this is percentage this is like 100 percent. this is what you want it to be the weight because this is the like the dominant weight this is what kind of dictates the rest of the form so let's change this to a different color let's change this to green yeah maybe oh. so because that's what we're going to use to like if you wanted to change your weight of the formula let's say 100 then everything would change but for right now we're going to do 50 all right and as you can see the percentages will still say the same one more thing i wanted to add is we can also change the headings they can have a bit of a, a different text we can change the headings to a different text to you know allow them to stand out yeah to make them bold so that way you can tell the difference between them and the rest of the form I wanted to also show you something else you can do with your Excel sheet. Now, you know how some ingredients are like it's supposed to be 20% of your oil phase, 20% of this phase. So whatever phase it is, you can go ahead and calculate that and do 20% of that. So let's get the total amount of your oil phase, right? Equal sum of... Let's do this. Well, okay. Plus the sum of plus the sum of. Now your answer is forty ohms point two one fifty. So that means your final formula would be twenty percent of the forty. 0.50 all right so that's just the, like you know pro tip that you can use to do with excel so you can actually use it to calculate a lot of your formulations if you didn't already know i sell digital downloads for skin can made skincare business owners from thank you cards to different icons for your instagram pages i also offer a pick my brain session if you're interested in that i also have the formula sheet listed on my etsy store if you're interested definitely click the link below where you could purchase these items